Welcome back, everybody. The last run was a fun one, man. I mean, seriously fun. Uh, at all at all facets and oh, oh! what mm. Mm. that's what I'm talking about we start with prayer card holy mantle that's quite a that's quite a lovely gift oh gosh I'm also juking like crazy because I'm that guy I'm that guy okay <laughs> Alright, let's uh there's a lot to unpack here. Alright, it's it's a short we got a long way to go and a short time to get there. Let's talk about it here. So Holy Mantle, one of the best items in the game, no question. Legitimately zero question whether or not that's the case. I can tell you right now, it's gonna be a lot easier to win this run with Holy Mantle. What does it do? Well, as you guys can see, I have this nice little white shiny shield below me. And, uh, or around me, around the entire character. And, uh, whenever I get hit, you, you heard this nice little shield smash noise. And, um, I don't take hits. I will, after the first hit in a room. But the Holy Mantle recharges after every room you go into. It is beyond amazing. So, yes. It is a great day. I just cannot believe it. And prayer card as well. It's the double angel deal start. I mean, some terrific starting item so holy card is going to be hp out the wazoo and holy and holy mantis i would keep it that's how you keep your hp don't need to worry too much about losing it all or spending it all in one place because now we've got holy card so let's uh let's discuss the stats here look kind of sauced up in the in a bad way a uh, noticeably the the uh the speed is 0.87 which is a little lower than I think what a typical gamer would ask for in uh, my position you know cuz I for me if I don't have exactly stat uh, stat average start I mean is that even are we even playing the game you know what I'm saying <laughs> so 0.87 a little slow definitely something that can be remedied uh, low tier rate also something that can be fixed for sure um, damage totally serviceable Okay, well, yeah, metronome would have been a good one to use in the boss just to have that all stats up. Um, there's really not much I can do on this floor. See, temperance will force me to eat five random pills, and uh, do I want to do that? Honestly, probably not. But um, you know, if we start getting, if we don't get anything good statistically speaking, we might give it a shot. So let's talk about the last run. We start with Cursed Eye, a uh, rather infamous item in the game. It's not usually touted as one of the best. Uh, it might actually be considered one of the worst. So um, to win with it and to win with it so easily because we just picked up phenomenal items that, uh, you know, I didn't get hit very often to, after a certain point. And I think I only teleported once or twice. So I, I really saw, I mean, about as mild of a Cursed Eye run. As any one man could ask for. Seriously, it was amazing. But it's fun to start runs like that. Okay, there you go. Growth hormones. Great to see you again. I think I saw you on the last run, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Doesn't matter. Ah! <laughs> Ooh, wait, 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 wait. Explosive diarrhea can do some uh, good things for us in a short amount of time. So if I, I think if I go like this, and I start it here, and then just start pooping like crazy there. Oh yeah, we got everything we ever asked for. Uh, so we just got an insane tear buff with our pills. And um, <laughs> I'm loving it, man. I am on cloud, I'm on cloud 79, cloud 79, cloud 18, cloud 27. You call it, I'm there. What's what? How could this be? How could we have such a great run to start? I I don't know. I tend not to ask those questions because uh, you know if you think about it too hard, it kind of loses kind of loses its meaning, don't you think? Like eventually we were gonna start with this item, yeah, that's true. But uh, you don't have to be a Debbie Downer about it. Oh, so 
We're back in action. We are better than we've ever been before. The reverse temperance ended up producing two tears up pills. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> I don't know. Where I'm from, that's a good amount of help in a short amount of time. So, I can't. Oh my goodness. It's just Spirit Heart City. We're going to be at 12 real soon. 12 HP. Thanks to a prayer card, we're going to be using our red hearts kind of as a full-blown expendable currency to everybody else except uh i mean i don't even know who who wouldn't consider it full-blown current i mean we're we're frying we're frying we get hp faster than faster than a speeding bullet so there's not really much else to go off of on this run other than just to reiterate how wonderful of a start we have Oh, I like seeing that, don't you? Sure do. So the game plan now is Holy Mantle opens a ton of possibility for us, mainly in curse rooms. We're going to be able to walk into every single one scot-free. Uh, it's not going to cost us a thing. And this is a long basement too. Holy, holy smoly. Let's see what we can find. So, there's some schools of thought to be had here. You could say, you know, keep the angel train running. You know, it's it's serving you well so far. You might as well just keep, you know, skip the deal with the devil. Go deals with the angel only. Why not? Well, I'm, oh my gosh. Well, there's your 12. I mean, we got it. Ooh. Speaking of 12... I could go to the boss with this and have an all stats up for the boss. Why would that not be a terrible idea? It would not be a terrible idea. It would be a great idea. So dim bulb is what's giving us the stats ups. I know the uh, where the secret is, but again, with only one bomb. With only one bomb and 12 HP, it's we're at a kind of special point where I'd rather just hold on to the bomb. This is second secret all day. I mean, seriously, it's... No question in my mind. But, yeah, the yeah, Wow. I mean... <laughs> uh, yeah, here you have it. Um, sanguine Bond. Uh, into Spirit Del Knight. So, we're going to try playing around with this a little bit. Just to see... Wow, okay, six pennies. Boom. I mean, I'll go down. Uh, how low can you go? I can go pretty low, my friends. There's a little damage up there in there. Mm. I'll go down to two. And then I will not go lower. Okay. We got stem cells, so we got our HP. So Sanguine Bond, is it helpful? Is it not? I don't know yet. It uh, It's interesting one. I don't think I've actually fully used one, uh, like a run with it. And, oh, wow. Broken modem is so good all the time. So we're going to happily take that. Thank you, Sanguine Bond. And I'm going to put my bomb where my mouth is. I'm going to say this is the secret room. Yes, sir, it is. Ooh, okay. Enough for a battery, which is good for me. All right, let's rock and roll. Life is good, you know what I mean? Like, uh. Flight and Spectral there by uh, Spirit of the Night. We're essentially playing as Lost, but we can get hit after Holy Mantle breaks. That's essentially what you're watching right now. Really strong place to be. Now let's talk uh, something else. What else can we talk about this a little better? I mean, I... My... I could talk about movies for a long time. I mean, a real long time. Um, probably to nobody's benefit at this point in my career. Oh, there's a pretty fly pill, huh? Okay. Booyah. But I will say this. I... Oh. I... What, what was I just watching? I mean, I was just watching. Oh, Iron Man 2. 
yeah, so I kind of was on this thing of, you know, yeah, I would love to figure out what's doing that for my computer. I know I keep saying I'm going to do something about it, and I promise I will someday. <laughs> what day? I, I don't know. Okay, someday. There will be a day. But I was watching Iron Man 2, and I've seen Iron Man 1 recently. It's good. Iron Man 1 is still very good. You kind of forget how, like, how just goofy Iron Man is. Like, Tony Stark, uh, Robert Downey Jr. Iron Man. Like, the way they make the character, he's just a very selfish, you know, rich jerk for his first two films, at least. Like, and I thought about the first one, it doesn't, the, the learning point is n not at all, oh, I need to use people to help me. Like, I need help to get the tasks done. I need, uh, I can be a humble guy. It was literally, okay, I'm a superhero now. Second one's crazy. I, I thought it was, I honestly couldn't remember the whole thing, but where I'm going with it is you could say, I, I mean, I really am, yeah. That was going to bother me until I knew for sure. You can say that Aquaman is a bad movie now, watching it. And some maybe some of the Marvel movies are bad now, too. Or, or just not as good as you remember them, is another way to say it. I don't think any of them are bad. I remember, I mean, dude, there's way too much hype around that stuff. I mean, it was, it, it, for them to be, like, completely trash. I mean, everybody was obsessed with them for a long time. I mean, remember when, it, maybe you don't. Remember when, uh, whichever it is, is it Endgame or Infinity War, whichever is the final one in that series with Thanos, I mean, it was a, it was, it was everything. That was like the move. Everybody knew what was going on. I think that's cool, uh, personally. When, uh, cause I like going to the movie theater, so I think it's cool when we get all these people coming to movie theaters, you know, to watch the same thing and enjoy with everybody else. I think that's cool. I hope that doesn't go away, uh, honestly. I know it's kind of a tough sell because, like, it's a pretty good point that, you know, movies can be pretty expensive. Ooh. Best item in the game, meet best item in the game. Yeah. IV bag is quite solid. It's not exactly what we're looking for on this run. I mean, truthfully, it... it we could play it just fine, but I do kind of want more red hearts. Whoa. Okay, we got restock from that uh, beggar. I didn't know that was a thing. But the shared experience thing, you know, it's kind of like it's kind of like an amusement park almost. Like you know, we got everybody there. He's riding the ride. Like just just to be in a shared space, I think with others is is great. I think that makes the older I've gotten, the oh hello, the definitely more I've appreciated stuff like that, and uh, I have no interest. And picking up Leo. I promise you that. I don't. I don't. <laughs> have I found a secret? I have. One key says go into here for sure. And uh, we'll see what this is. Ace of Diamonds. Okay. So for. Yeah. For me. I've always liked the movie theater. Um, you know. Going bowling. Like it's just like. You know. Just to be out. I know some people aren't big on. You know. I'm an introvert. I like staying at home. Like you can. Listen, man, you can like staying at home all you want, but like it, it, I don't know. I just, I don't believe it. I don't believe that you think that's a better option than, you know, even going to watch a movie. I'm, you know, it's just like, you don't have to talk to everybody there, you know, <laughs> you know, this is obviously a straw man argument for myself. I, I don't know anyone I who I can think of off the top of my head who's making this argument for uh, the other side, but just kind of that, that piece of like summer, we're getting closer to summer, you know, everyone's kind of ready to get outside and it just be a part of that fresh air. And I, I'm loving that. I'm riding that wave with you all the way. I'm very ready. I, uh, so ready. I actually was fixing my truck the, uh, this past weekend. I was giving her a good tune up. So, for those out there who who don't think of themselves as very mechanically inclined, I'm just gonna go ahead and tell you, listen, man, you gotta try it. Uh, just go on YouTube. They've got the the wonderful thing about YouTube now is there anything you're looking for, they've got. Okay, if you're like, oh, you know, what? just enter your car info, and there's someone who's changing the oil. If you want to change your oil, I mean, or something, something of that caliber, right? Like just. 
something nice, something that's maybe not so easy to do, you would think. I can't really play Sanguine Bond here, and I don't really... Yep, yeah, please. I'm not really loving either of those, but I am going to pick up Perfection. Uh, now with Holy Mantle, it's just way likely we're going to hold on to it. And uh, what's way likely is we're going to get a Planetarium. But yeah, so I... There's a guy that I know who is super good with cars. And I mean, he has spent most of his life rebuilding Corvettes to show them. So I'm talking like... 1967 like he's a car he's a, he's a borderline car collector but he also like you know he doesn't have that many there it's an expensive hobby so like you know to be to have like he he has a good amount he has i think he has three maybe two or three cars maybe no three or four i'm sorry three or four uh so he's you know obviously passionate about it and he, he he's been very nice to me because you know i ask tons of questions about just you know showing cars in general you know what do you look for and you learn a lot like stuff you don't necessarily think about without really maybe being in that realm but like you know cars do get judged by how many original parts they still have or parts that come from oh nice bot flies good and maybe we didn't expect this to be the automobile episode and it still it has time not to be but it uh you know car judging he so he big into cars and uh, there's a lot to learn from that for sure but he's helping me fix up my truck so I took my truck in and it, she was making some noise and I know I had a CV axle torn for a while I mean a couple years while I was just waiting for it to start you know squealing at me because it's an expensive fix it's not a fix that costs zero dollars. If uh, you go the the auto shop I went to uh, told me that was gonna be eleven hundred dollars to repair that and uh, to replace just to replace the two CV axles. So on the front side, we'll do let's let's break, yeah, let's do this. Let's commit to it. I'll, I will share what I know and in a limited fashion because I know it's probably not interesting to everybody here, and I totally understand that. But this is not stuff that I think is impossible to learn. Let's also get to that point, which is I learned most of this stuff as we were repairing. So I don't want anybody to think that this is, you know, it's, you go completely over your head. You have no chance of understanding it. I think, if anything, from what you should know is I think everyone has a very good chance in understanding, you know. if you, I think a lot of people do have some sort of inner, like, want to be a lot more versatile you know less dependent on you know an auto shop to fix your car or less dependent on you know an oil change place to change your oil. i think a lot of people probably want that extra dependency independency sorry so to you out there i say this is your sign man you should try it if you've never tried changing your oil or you've never done anything like that i strongly suggest you try it because you might surprise yourself and there's the planetarium i knew we were going to get one we had we skipped an item room, we got uh, Magic 8-Ball. I think our chances of getting a Planetarium were actually pretty high. So I'm not like, you know, I'm not that surprised to see it. And, uh, okay. Yeah, Venus is fine, it's HP. Which, at this point, uh, we're gonna have to start slowing our roll because we don't need necessarily this much HP floating around without any real way to spend it. You know, if we had goat head, we'd be cracking, cracking away on prayer card all dang day. Because, <laughs> you know, it's uh, here for a good time, not a long time, if you got goat head. But, uh, so, back to the car before we truly lose all, all focus. So, and, so, I, I do hesitate to open up too much about my life. I'm not sure that's entirely interesting to others. <laughs> But I think this is a good enough story to at least share uh, to some capacity. So I'm going to just, you know, let's give it 20 prefaces before we actually get into the thing, which is, you know, it's not a very interesting story at all. But So they asked for 1100 to fix the CV axles. And what the piece is, is how you drive your car when you turn your steering wheel, the CV axle uh, goes not, so the tie rod is what changes direction of your tires for you. Um, the CV axle is what's inside, like the center of your wheel. Your wheel has a center. It's in. It's bolted 
in there and when you tell your car you want to start spinning you want to start going forward the cv axle transfers that spin from the differential which is uh where you get that you know car drive oh hello car drive and uh it transfers it to the wheels and the cv axle is what uh, is the is a prime component of that and uh it's very it's very flexible it's you know it's it's a very interesting piece but honestly in it's not it is kind of a chore to get to uh, cuz you do have to take off a few pieces that you know are, it's it's more than just a quick couple loosen a couple bolts and you're there you know i had to take off my whole brake system basically the caliper and uh, rotor had to come off and then there's a couple other parts but to keep the point alive without really delving into potential jargon uh, it was a lot it was a fair amount but it's 1100 bucks to save how much do you really value your time right so the pieces and unfortunately when you do things like this uh, yes the point is to save money but I don't think anybody out there should be focused on like oh, I'm just gonna buy the cheapest parts and save the most money I don't recommend that at all I think you should buy good reliable uh, hardware and definitely don't just go for the cheapest thing on the market um, that being said I would have gone for the CDs that cost 150 a piece they just weren't there two of them were not available I had to get the $200 ones which uh, so what, what those $200 ones come with is an, a lifetime warranty which, uh, if you know much about CV axles, is almost a joke in and of itself, because there's almost zero way. My my truck has 190,000 miles on it, so there's almost zero chance that I am going to need new CV axles before the car is old enough to be totaled. So, <laughs> womp womp. I mean, unless I get in like an accident, and they actually something bends or something unforeseeable happens. If everything went according to plan, I would be driving with those CV axles till the car breaks down from a different way. So, you know, there's there's things uh, things always to think about when buying parts. But obviously, never never be scared to ask for help. I asked the guys at the auto shop actually, uh, or I was at O'Reilly's. So I don't know if anyone. It's a parts store where I was getting this stuff. I was like, you know, he'd tell me the price. Like I'd ask for because I changed my brakes too. I did lots of stuff. But the point is the CVs cost four hundred dollars to actually get the part. And so at the end of the day, it took pretty much all day because we had a couple of bolts that were stuck. The cars, the truck's a little rusty underneath there, so it's it's kind of hard to get some pieces off easily. And um, you know, you're never gonna. It's like any construction job. There's always gonna be delays in in one facet or another. So uh, if you value your time in a per hour basis maybe it's gonna bother you to work on your truck because or car because any setback might feel like failure um, but honestly it was great to learn so much about like that piece of the like, just that under the under the hood front end of the truck you know it's just I feel like I already know so much more than I did and so to save 400 or oh my gosh that's I, I've lit I've almost al I've almost underhand ooped this like back of the napkin math to be able to do very easily and I still almost screw it up here so seven hundred dollars saved by doing it myself assuming I did it you know correctly right I think a lot of people would agree that that's great and to them I say yeah I completely agree it was great I feel awesome that we were that he was able to help me and uh, he's got a lot of good tools, which helps. Um, you know, it helps a lot, actually. <laughs> but, yes, yeah, so I did that over the past weekend. I had um, I had help, and I was fixing up my truck. So, uh, it went well, and we, we did a, a couple things. But the most important things are uh, the friends we made along the way. Am I right, or am I right? <laughs> Uh, Alabaster box actually could pay, which is kind of crazy because we're, we're not going to pick it up. But it, it could. We could hold on to it long enough to get an Angel Deal item. And Ares is great because it's speed. And honestly, my friends, that's all I'm really looking for. And uh, so, yeah, now that we got, like, the little part of the story out of the way, let us let's get let me get back to the original focus, which is the third ghost chest of a run. What a day. Which was... If you guys are out there right now, and there's a part of you that's like, 
you know, maybe you feel a little insecure, or maybe you're just like, you know, sad that you don't, or maybe it's something you're gonna try for, you know, it was a New Year's resolution that uh, you want to try to learn something new and take more control of a facet of your life you were otherwise pretty inexperienced. I say go for it. You know, I really do. There's people out there willing to help, uh, especially strangers on online. You know, they're, I heard they're a really reliable source. No. <laughs> Uh, especially for car repair I, from what I can speak to I watched I would watch so I watched several YouTube videos on how to do it and then you know every video there's at least one step that's different so what you should do for anything is compile multiple sources uh, before you do anything okay don't just watch one video and say this is the way you should watch several and and decide what's the best uh, course of action that is my honest to goodness opinion I think I think you could not go any better uh, and I just kind of autopilot picked up blood oath but that'll be interesting because I'm not <laughs> it, it actually we could go for like a full you don't want to do that but you hey, look at that so blood oath gave us big speed big damage and um, basically what it's gonna do is it takes our all of our red hearts away for the floor oh Wow, great trinket. And I just remembered as well that we have the, oh, hello, the ever lovely uh, mom's mom's purse and mom's coin purse. We have them both. But mom's purse allows us to hold two trinkets. So now we have blessed penny, which is a very, very strong trinket. One of the best, most likely, honestly, in my opinion. And... We also have uh, Perfection, which we managed to keep this far. I think Secret was probably below this room. I mean, that's my guess. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty convinced. I am. Ah! We're picking up money like it. Oh my gosh, another Lucky Penny was just sitting there. I didn't even realize. With 21 bombs, it probably is better to spend two of them here to get into the item room than... Uh, whoa, what did you just grab? What did you just grab? <laughs> what is in your mouth? You spit that out! <laughs> Talking to, like, your dog. Uh. Oh my gosh, pennies, pennies, pennies. Woo! Oh, hello. Book of the Dead's really good. Um, it, it really is. It's the best to ever do it. No, it's, it's not the best to ever do it, but it is a good book. It's a good read. Oh, yeah, there we go. That's what we want. Some red hearts, baby. Second secret could be here. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. We're not done. There's a lot that could happen on this floor for the economy. I could play that sacrifice room. Uh, honestly, I could. I could probably get it all the way down to the 7 Spirit Heart 30 coin option. With restock, there's an argument to be made it's worth it. You know, I'm listening to that. I am. Ooh, the Judgment's a good card, isn't it? Bone Hearts at this point actually are more of a distraction. And I mean that in the best of ways, but it's just I'd rather have Spirit Hearts or Red Hearts. It's, it's not advantageous to me because... With Blood Oath, we're not going to have a whole lot of red hearts out front anyway. Uh, it's going to drain us dry every single floor. So it's actually part of why I was going to say we could just fully send on our ever lovely <laughs> holy card, prayer card. But we don't want to do that because it takes us down to as many hits as it can. So I will go like six red hearts and then, you know, we'll just sit at six and we'll have six spirit hearts, six red hearts. That's not a bad balance. You know, it really isn't. But... That's as far as I'll go. But this is, I mean, you want to talk about a good run? <laughs> you don't have to look much further. And, let's see. Looking at our stats now. I was going to say the one point set. I was going to talk about speed and damage, but of course those, I don't actually know the true number of. I think our speed is actually 1.3 without uh, Red Hearts being hit with Blood Oath. Ah, uh, okay. Sure. That puts us at six. 
6 HP. So what we're going to do is we're going to drop all this stuff. Boop. And we're going to come in here and start playing to our heart's content. Why do I have an angel chance at all? Am I kind of messing up by doing that? Oh my god, please. Game. It's not a game, it's computer. Please, computer, stop killing me on this garbage. Does this count as lethal damage on... No, it does not. Whoa! Woo! Woohoo! <laughs> so we'll fight for the key pieces. There's really no reason not to. I mean, maybe there is. If you don't like the key pieces, I understand. All right, there's the money. So, unfortunately, the money does essentially zip for us as we are almost at 99 cents. But, uh, you know what? Life goes on. What we did do is we kind of screwed ourselves a little bit with this so uh, <laughs> with the devil thing. Now we've got low odds of that, which is not the original intent. Uh, ideally, we would have a lot better odds to deal with the devil because... When you got money, you got to spend it. And I want my full heal. Please. Alright, now let's rock. And roll. I don't think there's anything left on this floor for me. I could have kept playing, actually. No, I couldn't, because eventually it teleports to the dark room. I was going to say, uh, put myself down at one red heart to uh, then go into the boss challenge room. But I'm not... And I definitely still could. I definitely still could. If I took the fool card in here... Oh. I keep forgetting mom's foot can do contact damage after the fact. Like, I thought, you know, the, the slam down was going to be the damaging portion of that, but it's actually the whole uh, whole thing. Let's see what we got. Oh, very lovely. Love seeing that. Big time, big time, big time. I mean, I'll do this for the key piece, just for the... Just for the... Uh, he might not drop it. I feel like we already fought this guy. Or maybe he does drop it. They always drop the key piece you don't have. Is that how it works? Yes, he does. Okay, very nice. So we've got a full key. That's good for the economy. Let's go. I <laughs> I have no interest in fighting Delirium right now. The run's good, but as far as damage is concerned, it's not like stupidly overpowered. Which would be kind of like... It is like my main criteria before I fight Delirium is usually I check to see how stupidly overpowered I am. And honestly, to the... Oh, so Pashel's Candle also synergizes really well with our current build because we're not going to be getting hit very often. Pretty flies, which don't do anything after you hit three, but you know. How often do you get so many pretty fly pills, you know what I'm saying? We'll just steal that man's, uh, <laughs> all that man's money there and rock on. So yeah, here's where, here's where you play the game a little differently and you say, I actually don't want any more prayer cards. I'm fine with six HP. I could go ahead and try again this goofy little uh, sacrifice room thing. I could. I. The thing is, it doesn't. There's no true benefit anymore. Um, and what I mean by that is, like, best case scenario is what? Yeah, exactly. We uh, we don't have one. Wow. Why am I picking up money? Um, yeah, I, it's a good point to make, but it's not going to stop me. I see a nickel on the ground, you know, listen, I've had years of training. <laughs> you always pick up the nickel on the ground, okay, that's just how it works. But also, maybe if, I, I don't know, I was going to say if I get enough spirit hearts on the floor, I would go and play uh, that sacrifice room, but again, there's just no real, we are, we are just killing it on the money sense, and I have not been hit ever, I think, on this run. I don't think I've taken any damage. I mean, I have, but I don't think I've taken damage from an enemy. So, that's cool, huh? That's the power of starting with Holy Mantle. I mean, straight up. It's not that I'm necessarily playing that well, but we just, we never, you have to get hit twice in a room. And, uh, as you can see, so what you should know, then, what we've learned is it's hard to lose if you can give up one free hit in a room, which tells you that Isaac is a marathon and not a sprint. 
I think that's totally true. You know, like it's never a steep decline of HP. Like getting hit more than once in one room happens, but it obviously happens way, way less than just getting hit once in a room. And hello, beautiful. Didn't see the eternal heart there until it was too late. Uh, might as well hold on to the, the Gupster's head. Just because I don't really need prayer card anymore. Ugh. I don't know why. It, it feels like I get pulled out of the game way more often playing Isaac. I, I really... I don't have an answer. Oh, okay. So yes, with Holy Mantle... Like, imagine there's an item that says you can only get hit once in a room. Now, obviously you change your playstyle a lot. That changes the game way too much. But if you're gonna, if I were gonna just follow this stupid point I'm trying to make, because <laughs> believe me, it is a stupid point. It's easier to lose a run taking one hit on every room, oops, than it is to avoid the first sound every room. Okay, Did, is that not rehashing the obvious? Holy Mantle's a good item. Here's why. Yeah. Okay. I know. I know that was that was not a very good. Now it's not a very well fleshed out thought. So I'll give you that. I could just feel that one slipping away. <laughs> but you stick with it, you know why? Because I'm not a quitter. Oh, hello, Kirsta. I remember you from last run. I don't actually. I don't think we need to rehash that. Rehash that. And you know what? Let's just go full bore here. I uh, I don't believe in zodiacs or astrology, pretty much in any facet. But in the same breath, I'm not. I'm not gonna. I don't think you're an idiot if you do. But I do wonder, like, what what drives you to believe in these things. You know, if you think about it, like the Venus, like the Venus in retrograde, the Mercury in in Virgo, like, none of it makes a lick of sense. I'm just gonna be honest. And you might like tarot card reading in real life, too. I, I, at least there's some, like, I think there is an established basis for psychics because they, they take a lot more chances. And what I mean by that is, like, you'll have a psychic tell you, like, oh, you're gonna die soon. Like, dude, Astrology does not cut that deep. It is always just like, you like to be nice to your friends. It's like, well, fucking, who does not like to be nice to their friends? <laughs> like, who, or it's like, you like having friends. Like, yes, <laughs> of course. Who doesn't like having friends? <laughs> like, what are we doing here? <laughs> of course I do. So that's my honestly, that's my honest biggest crit critique of the whole system is that it's not that I think it's dumb, uh, because, you know, oh, what does any of it mean? It doesn't mean much to me, admittedly, but just the whole, like, it's not very a risky play. It's not like ever, you're not really ever taking a chance on anything. There's no, like, you know, you're going to die in, in five weeks, or you're going to have a kid. Or you're going to get married. You're going to find the love of your life. There's no, so you got to respect, there's some amount of respect that's got to be transferred over to the uh, psychics of the world because they do. Hey, they shoot their shot, man. They do. They'll they'll just throw it out there. They'll go. They'll they'll read your palm and say, yeah, you're gonna get cancer at like 26. You know, like you're like 12 years old, and like you know, you get cancer at like 25. You're like, damn. <laughs> like, like I, you know, like they called it right. Like they took a shot. So, for me, that's kind of the difference. That's where I do I do I do draw a line, and I think there is a, a, a absolutely worthwhile separation in the sand for those two. Uh, Beliefs, honestly, I do. I would love to know, though, for some out there, if you think uh, astrology is more valid than you know the the fortune tellers of the world, same same lottery bin, or maybe you agree with me. Where uh, you know, honestly, you got to respect the hustle, which I do. That deal with the devil was pretty uneventful. We got Ouija board with the, which was a tears up, and I don't actually know if we had hit the cap before that point. But we certainly have it now. Yeah, I, I'm looking at this run and I'm thinking. 
I, I'm thinking we have not been hit once. Like, by an enemy, of course. We have taken damage. That's... <laughs> But it was all voluntary. Signed up for it. <laughs> and with we don't have a whole lot on this run. But Blood Oath with Prayer Card kind of helps a lot. You know, like we're up to six Red Hearts. On, or no, we're actually down to five. Oopsie. Five Red Hearts on a floor. And that's a good, that's a good damage and speed up. You know, we're at 1.82 speed with all that help. We're at 11.99 damage. It's nice. It is nice. And Blessed Penny, again, uh, like any run it's on, it's just doing the absolute, putting in the absolute work on uh, when it needs to. We, we, have, we have quickly rebuilt back up to six Spirit Hearts, soon to be seven. Um, as soon as we get lucky again, I guess. Now, this is the floor to use the full health pill on. It might seem backwards, but uh, truthfully, we want to maximize our Blood Oath payout. So we're trying to get as much Red Hearts full as we can before we go down. Uh, I have full confidence in myself once I'm down there with no Red Hearts, I'm going to be alright. So that's the play. That is honestly the play. But w what I was trying to do was save the full health pill to the very end of this floor. And I could have waited till after Isaac, too, because he probably will drop a red heart. Um, just to see. But I needed two to be full, so I didn't think he would drop two. And he didn't even drop one, so that worked out really well. And uh, let's go down to the chest. Let's let's just keep this train rolling, man. There's, there's really no reason to stop. We're having a good time. Yeah, 1.32. That's, that's where we were at. Oh, shard of glass. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah come, come on down. <laughs> come on, come on. So now we've got Magic Mush uh, Piercing. So, you know, it's getting good. It's a good day to be us. M mucking around with our Holy Mantle and such. Oh, yeah. Little Haunt, come join the party. Bombino. He ain't even gonna do nothing, bro. He's good for nothing. How did we get to full health? Is Magic Mush a full heal? That is insane. I did not know that. I, it is an HP up, which I guess I did. I did know that, but I did not know. Uh, it, <laughs> it just gave us all of our HP back. So there's your 12. Uh, there's your 12 HP, like it or not. You know what I'm saying? This was a good run. What would I really attribute to the success to is obviously Holy Mantle. That would be the elephant in the room. Um, no, really nothing else. Really. I mean, But here's the thing. A lot of items on this run benefited from Holy Mantle. Pashel's Candle benefits greatly. Um, Sanguine Bond, I suppose, in a sense. Uh, yeah, everything. There's the seed. El Elf G. Facts. <laughs> All right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed. That was a good one. Uh, win number 35, 34, 35, I don't remember. But we're going. We're going for it all, boys. We're back. I'll see you all for the next one.